Imagine you're on a budget and you need your computer for school or for other things or you just want a nice tablet for your kids so they can watch YouTube or maybe you love Linux and you want to use Linux applications on a laptop or on a tablet. Well, Chromebook is now the perfect way to go and let me show you what I'm talking about. Now this little machine that I have here is called a Lenovo Duet Chromebook 10.1. So it has 10.1 inch and you can use it as a tablet or it does come include with a keyboard and a cover for the back. So the cover is magnetic. All you have to do is just put it here and you're safe. I didn't have had any problem with this one. And the cover also becomes a stand so you can use it as a stand. And after that, you can just simply connect the keyboard and now you're having a mini laptop in front of you. Now, having a Chromebook is not the best one. People already complain about there's nothing you can do with Chromebook because you can only run Android application, that's it. Well, that's not all you can do with Chromebook. See, on Chromebooks, you can actually install Linux and run Linux applications. I know for some of you might be a little bit complicated. Oh my, Linux is so hard, but Linux is not hard at all. And let me show you how to install Linux on it and how you can use desktop environment apps on a Chromebook. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into start and go into settings over here. Once you can scroll down, Go to advanced, scroll down again, go to developer and how you can see Linux development environment here. And all you have to do is just turn it on. And here it will do the job automatically for us. So we click next, we put a name for this Linux. So let's just call it Linux. You want, you give it what space you want. I'll just stay with the recommended thing. You go by the space, but you can give more depending on your storage. And now you just wait and it will literally install Linux for us. And how we can see Linux is now activated. So Linux is literally in a command prompt. So it's a terminal one. So now you just have to type the normal Linux command. So for example, sudo apt update. This will search for the latest updates in Linux. And now sudo apt upgrade, upgrade, sorry. So this will take and upgrade all our components and everything. And here we will press Y to confirm it. So now that everything is upgraded, we can start installing Linux application. For example, sudo apt install libreoffice. So for those of you who doesn't know libreoffice, it's a replacement of Microsoft Word, Excel and everything. So Microsoft Office. So once I click enter here, you will ask me if I want to install it. I'll just click yes. And now we will install Linux application on a Chromebook. So I get a tablet, a laptop, an Android tablet and a desktop tablet an Android laptop and a desktop laptop. So you get a lot of things with Chromebooks and especially, I'm not a big fan of Chromebooks, don't get me wrong. But if your Chromebook is powerful enough, you can literally play Steam games on it. So if you have like an i5, i3, i7, this one has an ARM processor. So with ARM processor, you won't be able to game on, on a tablet like this one, but you will still be able to use it for homework, for work and for kids to give them to play some games from Android games, etc., or a, even maybe some Linux games that they are not, you know, not too much. Uh, they don't require too much uh, power. But how you can see, I'm literally installing a desktop application on my Chromebook tablet. And how we can see a fully installed LibreOffice. So where do we find the Linux applications? Where well, we all find them here with the rest of the applications. So the Android and the Linux application will literally be combined all of them here. So let's open uh, LibreOffice Word so we can type something, how we will type on a normal laptop when we have to do something in Word.
And here it is. Literally okay. And here I can just start typing. So this is how we install Linux application on it and it will work perfectly. Now, if you do want to go back in Linux and try to install some more application, etc., all you have to do is just click on terminal and on terminal, click on penguin here. Once you click on it, the terminal is ready to go. So you can try different commands. Let's try just again sudo app update. You can try different commands and then Linux will be up and running again and you can install other things. If you don't want to use the terminal to install any other things, that's fine. You don't have to open the terminal to run Linux application. So being a Chromebook, that means that we also have access to Google Play Store. Using Google Play Store, we can install all the Android applications that we want. So for example, you can install Spotify, you can install Plex, everything. And you can also install some games on it. Clash Bandicoot Royale, let's install this one. So how you can see, it's pending and the download will start very, very soon. You'll be able to install it and play your Android games. You can play them with your keyboard or you can literally just remove the keyboard like this and then you can play them on your touch screen. So the moment you remove the keyboard, how you can see everything is changing and it will become a touch screen tablet. So that means when I swipe up, it will become like an iPad. You won't have any more home screen. All your application will be on your home screen like a normal iPad. Now, personally, I don't like it. I would prefer to still have a home screen how Windows has, but what can you do? So now we will wait for the game to install, which is 100%. And once the game is installed, how you can see, you will be able to play and you will be able to run it as a normal Android tablet. Now let's try the speakers a little bit because the speakers are probably the weakest point of this tablet. So the reason why I put the tablet like this for the speaker sound is because this tablet has two speakers, one here and one here. But trust me, they are not winning any, any competition. They're, they're really, they're not bad, don't get me wrong. They're very, they're not very loud. I think that's my biggest problem. They're not very loud. They don't have any bass and stuff like this, but for this price range, I'm not expecting too much, but they're not very loud. And this is my biggest problem. So. Let's exit from this one. So here we have our normal settings. So if you go here, you can, you know, increase the brightness, which I just saw is not there. And let's open a game to have uh, some fun. So how you can see the game is playable like this. So because of our stand, oh, it's not going to stay. So we can try to play some games on like this. Now let's put the volume a little bit down. What do I have to do in this game? Or here. So how we can see, we can actually play some games perfectly on this one. I'm sorry, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm trying to like make sure that my voice and the sound here. So here, I'll just listen to what this guy says. Everything we want. So yeah, you can play Android games on it without any problems, and then you can become, well, you can transform it, sorry, in a laptop whenever you need it. It's magnetic and it just connects automatically. And how you can see, that's it. We're having now a laptop. You remove the keyboard, it's becoming a tablet. So it's a pretty, pretty nice device and especially for the money that you're playing now before we end let me show you how the quad because from this point for, from this angle you're not seeing the 
quality of the display really well. So let me show you a movie on Plex. So for $50 you get a laptop, an Android tablet and Linux all running on the same device and because it's a Chromebook the battery on this one it's incredible. I managed to get about seven and a half hours of screen on time literally just watching movies, listen to music and running some Linux application which they do use more battery than the Android apps. But yes for a tablet like this that you can use every single day or give it to your kids or if you don't like the keyboard you can just use it as a normal slim tablet for a tablet like this $50 is way way worth it and if you don't know Linux don't worry about it you will be able to find on the internet easy ways so you can install all your favorite applications but normally it's just sudo apt install and the name of the application that you want to install so yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I do hope this really helps you and I will see you guys in the next one.